Liz Crosby here with another yoga flow. This flow is intended to make you feel good in your body. There's a lot of things that are uncertain and out of our control right now, but you can control what's going on inside in your own mind-body matrix. So this one's just intended to massage the body from the inside with oxygenated blood flow and to feel into every corner of the universe so that you have reactivated as many of your nadis lovingly and blissfully as possible. And in that knowing, find some pranoia, which is the opposite of paranoia. Pranoia is where you believe and knowing it's, it's factual. When you're doing this work, the universe is conspiring to help you. It's endeavoring to uplift you in your endeavor to share life force energy with your sphere of existence. That is a fact. And it is crazy when you start to really devote yourself to a practice, how things start to switch. It's literally like switching a flip board and all of a sudden things start to happen in your favor. So I wanna share this with the collective so that we can all start shifting into a, a place where we are receiving from our holographic projected reality what it is that we are wanting, not what it is that we are not wanting. So hopefully you enjoy this flow. It's for anyone, all levels, brand new to the yoga practice, or if you'd like, if you're advanced, feel free to add in some inversions or some arm balances. I'm going to make this more so for beginners so that everybody feels like they're, they can get on board and no one's left behind. So let's start with child's pose. Now, making your way, feet can come together, knees out wide. It's gonna, I'm gonna dish up on some fun stuff today. Ball the hands into fists. Now bring your knuckles together. Fists come to your abdomen. Now roll over the fists, coming into child's pose. Now, once you're in your child's pose, roll your fists a little bit to massage your abdomen your solar plexus. And deep breaths into all of these sensations. And then lifting back up again, hold the spine. Now extend the arms forward. And walk the hands over to the right. You can actually lift your torso up and set your torso down on top of the right thigh. Maybe your left hand comes on top of the right hand. You can interlace. Breathe down through your left sit bone. Breathe into the left side body. Fan your side body open like an accordion. Gently release. Walking the hands back through the center. Over to the left. Right hand on top of left hand. Again, you can set your torso on top of the left thigh. Root down through your right sit bone. Breathe into the right side body. Release back through the center. Lift up into your tabletop pose. Inhale as you melt the heart forward and up sit bones. Reach your gaze up. Exhale, round and spine gaze at navel. Inhale, peel just forward. Exhale, to round. Take it into your bear pose, hip circles, shoulder circles. Massaging the spine a little bit. Puppy dog pose, knees back, hands forward. Melt heart towards mat, really extend the sit bones up towards the ceiling. Breathe into your thoracic spine. Maybe chin to mat, maybe chest to mat. And deep Ujjayi breaths, open up on a hatha. Now roll the spine forward into your sphinx pose. Hips to mat, elbows stacking underneath shoulders, broaden across collarbones. Drop right ear towards right shoulder. Let you move your chest up to left shoulder. Breathing into the cervical spine. Make the breath audible. Taste the breath. Smell the breath. Feel with the breath. 
back through the center, and then straighten through the arms, coming into your seal pose. Take some shoulder circles. And then switch the direction of your circles. Walk the hands to the outer edges of the mat. Lift up onto your fingertips, spread the elbows wide. Lift your chest up. Drop right shoulder gaze over the left. As you exhale, inhale through the center. Exhale, drop left shoulder gaze over the right. Inhale through the center. Exhale, moving back and forth from side to side. Back through the center as you inhale. Exhale, slowly release the spine back down. Hands come underneath your shoulders. Now lift the chest to engage in the back of the core. Lift your hands up to find your central core strength. Keep the engagement. Now add the strength of the arms. Press up, lift up, cobra pose. Wrap all those angled shoulders back. Puff chest broad across the collarbones. Exhaling into your child's pose, hips to heels. Inhale to roll forward into your cobra. And again, let the movement. Exhaling, roll it back. Be exemplary of the elements. Inhale as you look forward. Like a wave crashing against the shoreline. And then exhaling, you're receding back into the ocean. The air element takes on a very water-like quality as it flows through the cardiovascular system. Now try dropping the right hip down first. And roll through the pelvic bowl over to the left hip. Back into child's pose. And then switch left hip to the floor first. Roll through pelvic bowl over to right hip. Back into child's pose. Pause in child's pose, few breaths. Then lift the hips, tuck the toes. Press up, lift up, downward facing dog pose. Walk it out, bending one knee and then the other. Allow the hips to shift from side to side. Breathing into calves, hamstrings, and lower back. Now both of the heels come over to the right. All ten toes point to the left. Breathe into your left side body. Reach the left sit bone away from the floor of your ribs. And switch both heels over to the left. Breathe into the right side body. Open it up. Back through the center. Walk the feet to the outer edges of the mat. Walk the hands back just halfway, coming into a shortened downward facing dog pose. Now right hand plants, center of the mat. Thread the left arm through and catch your right ankle. Take a twist. Again, this is all the feel good stuff. Keep that breath long, deep and audible, really. Blow out any stagnant energy. Release. Left hand plants, thread right arm through, catch the left ankle. Gently twist. Amazing. Walk it back out into your downward facing. Feet hips distance, hands shoulder distance. And from here, a little bit more fluid movement with the heels. Bend the knees, roll the spine forward into your plank pose. Let the hips dip like in a cobra, but keep the toes tucked. Exhale, rise the hips up and back, downward facing. Inhale, lift heels, bend knees, roll swing forward like a wave. Let the hips dip, toes stay tucked, cobra. Roll shoulders back, puff chest. Exhale, roll it up and back, down. And once more, lift heels, bend knees, roll spine forward into your plank. Let the hips dip. Puff chest. Roll it up and back, downward facing. From downward facing dog pose. 
Tiptoe the feet all the way to the front of the mat. Arrive in a forward fold. Allow for a little bend in the knees. Grab opposite elbows. Shake the head, yes. Shake the head, no. Release in your cervical. Release the hands down. Inhale as you peel the chest forward. Find some length, arch the spine. Left foot steps back. Left knee lowers. Untuck toes. Sweep the arms up for your low crescent pose. See the right hand catch your left wrist. Now side bend to the right. Breathe into the left side body. Maybe right hand comes down to mat if it's accessible. Inhale as you rise. Exhale, hands come to mat straight with your right leg half. Splits, come onto the heel of the right foot. Reach the toes back towards your face, tilt foot from side to side. Tilt the foot to the right. Walk the hands to the right. Breathe into the outer hip, IT band. Maybe right hand to sacrum, twist deeper. Gently release. Come back through to center. And now walk the hands over to the left. Left foot points back behind, right foot seals down, 45. Inhale, rise. Both arms sweep. Right hand to right thigh. And now slowly take a gateway pose. Lengthening the whole left side body. We carry a lot of stress and anxiety in the side body, so we are gonna get those side bodies today. Inhale, rise. And now walk the hands forward. Happy dog, the upper spine. Breathe into the inner right thigh. Lift back up again. Walk the hands back to the right. Back into your Ardha Hanuman. Tuck the left toes. Slide the hips back on top of your left heel for a half Vajrasana. Inhale as you find like an X in the forward fold. Rebend the right knee. Tuck the left toes, lift the left knee up. Walk the right foot over to the right just a little bit. And now walk the hands over to the left. Lengthening both side bodies up and down the pelvic bowl. Breathe into the lower back. Now walk the hands back into the instep of the right foot. Left hand plants, right arm sweeps up for your open hearted crescent. Gaze is at the right fingertips. Now right hand to right knee, rotate onto the outer edges of both your feet and let the left hip dip. Just as low as feels comfortable. This is big and remember the IT band is cartilage so it doesn't open up quite as quickly as muscle. Be patient and it should still feel Quite amazing. Here you can even kind of nod the hips from side to side. Lift it out of the left shoulder to intensify. Maybe even reach back with the right hand. Both hands to the instep of the right foot. Rotate onto the big turn onto the left foot. Now walking the hands over to the left. Rotate onto the heel of the left foot. Here we're in our scant. Bring the left arm to the inseam of the left leg. Now, sweeping the right arm up and overhead. More side body. Deep Ujjayi breaths. Chin rise. Right arm can sweep forward and in front of the right shin. Now, left arm can extend. This is optional. Maybe internally rotate, bend at the elbow to backward fingertips or wrist. You can bind. Gently release. Now walking the hands over to the left foot. Hands can stay planted. And if you have in your practice the arms lifted, feel free to do that. Walking the hands over to the left foot. Walk the hands over to frame the left foot. Right knee lowers. 
Untuck the toes, sweep the arms up for your low crescent pose. Scissor so thighs together, activate whole bond. See left hand catch the right wrist. Side bend to the left. Lengthening the whole right side body up and out of the pelvic bowl. And then you can dig into the lower hip stretch, lower body if you'd like to dip those hips, maybe left hand to mat to accentuate the side body stretch. And inhale as you rise. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Straighten through your left leg for your half splits. Ardha Hanuman, inhale as you find length. Exhale to forward fold it. Tilt the foot to the left. Walk the hands to the left. IT bend, outer hip stretch. Right hand can plant, left hand to the sacrum to stabilize, roll the left shoulder back. Gently release, back through the center. Now keep going, walk the hands over to the right. Right foot points back behind. Left foot seals down, 45, Padabandha. Inhale as you rise, both arms sweep up. Gateway pose, left hand to left thigh. Lengthen through the right side body. Breathe into the right side body. And as always with side bends, you don't want to crowd by rolling the shoulder forward. Roll that shoulder back to accentuate. And rise it back up. Inhale. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Walk it forward. Puppy dog, the upper spine. Breathe into your inner left thigh. Walk it back in again. Walk the hands to the left. Tucking the back toes now. Slide it back. Take a seat on your right heel. Inhale to find length through the spine. Exhale to forward fold your outer body line. Now rebending the left knee. Lifting the right knee up, walk the hands over to the right ever so slightly to lengthen both side bodies up and around the pelvic bowl. And it should just feel like we're cleaning the house, just airing out our whole microcosm, getting some fresh air up in there. A couple more deep breaths. Now walking the hands back in, right hand plants instep of your left foot, left arm sweeps up. Open hearted crescent. Rotate onto the outer edges of both your feet. Left hand to left knee. Now let the right hip dip. Ease in. Send in breath. Core stays engaged. Lift out of the right shoulder to intensify. Maybe extending that left arm back. Both hands come to the instep of the left foot again. Rotate onto the big toe of the right foot. Now keep walking over to the right. Rotate onto the heel of the right foot. Arrive in your skandasana. You can practically sit this down onto the floor too if you want for this variation. Right arm inseam with the right leg. Left arm sweeps up and overhead. Maybe catch. It's okay if you can't catch the foot today. You know, also if you'd like to. Catch the left ankle with your right hand. Variations. Find what works best for you and your body. Whatever feels the most divine. Again, this is a co-creation. Gently rise. Release. Left arm forward and in front of the left shin now. Right arm extends. And that might be as far as you go today. That's okay. Internally rotate. Bend the elbows. Reach back for fingertips or wrists. Roll that right shoulder back. Deep Ujjayi breaths. Gently release. Now walking the hands to the instep. The left foot come towards the middle of your stance. Straighten through both your legs, arriving in a wide-legged forward fold. Prasuda Padatanasana. 
Inhale as you find length through the spine and exhale into forward fold. Right away, walk the hands forward. Right hand plants, left arm sweeps up, twist the spine open, gazes at the left fingertips. Again, marrying you. Left hand reaches back for your right thigh. Find the half blind. If you can't have it, I can't grab it, that's okay. Grab for a piece of clothing if you can. Now, to take it a little bit deeper, right hand can catch your left ankle. Gently twist, let the spine hang long as you twist. So you're allowing gravity to lengthen the spinal column. As you inhale, lengthen even more. As you exhale, twist deeper. Fun variation here. All right, and again, remember I'm Mary. You can release the left hand. Now reach the left arm across the right arm, forward and across. Catch your left, sorry, right shin. So catching the right shin with your left arm, you should be getting a nice shoulder stretch as you pull the shoulder blades apart. Furthermore, and this is a fun one, you can actually draw the left elbow out to the side, thread the head through the left elbow, and take a funky variation here. Gently release both hands to mat. Now, left hand plants. Again, I'm Mary. Right arm sweeps up, twist it open. From the navel, and as you twist, gaze is at the right fingertips. Deep Ujjayi breaths. Right hand can reach back for the left thigh for a half bind. Left hand can catch the right ankle. Twist it even deeper. Again, receive invitations as they're given. You should always feel amazing and blissful, delicious to expand consciousness into new space. Now, if you'd like to go into that funky variation, releasing the right hand, Right hand reaches across. Catch the left shin this time. Work the shoulder stretch. Pull the shoulder blades apart. And send in breath. Draw the right elbow to the side. Thread the head through. A little bit of a twisting variation here. Amazing. Gently release what you've got. Now walk the hands forward, wide legged downward facing. Melt the heart, re extend the sit bones up towards the ceiling. Beautiful. Walking the hands back in. Heels come in towards midline. Toes point out. Bend deeply into the knees. Hands come to the inner thighs and press the knees apart. Drop one shoulder gaze over the other. Inhale through center. Excellent to twist. Little remix on this old uh, serpent's pose and horse squat, goddess squat. Try bringing the hands down to the ankles so you can press the elbows into your thighs. And then nod from side to side. Now rise back up. Hands come out wide. Hands come behind the back. Interlace. Broaden across the collarbones as you inhale. Exhale. Hinge from hips. Lead with heart. Humble horse squats. Let the hands weigh heavy back behind. Releasing the hands down and straighten through the legs once more. Walk the hands over to the right foot. Step left foot forward to meet right foot at the front of the mat. Inhale as you peel the chest forward, find some length arch. Exhale, forward fold. 
chair pose, bending knees, both arms sweep. So we're gonna do a little bit of a Kriya here, movement paired with breath. Bring the feet to about hips distance apart. So not your traditional chair where you're squeezing the ankles and the knees together. Hips distance apart, about two fist distance. You can even check if you'd like two fist distance apart. Now start it out slow. Exhale, release the hands back behind. Straighten through the legs. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, release. In. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Maybe you had some hangbanger or headbanger days. This might bring back some memories. You can go slow. You can go fast. Steps crown towards ground. Now slide the hands underneath the feet, press the balls of the feet into the wrists. This was a little tricky, so if you need to put some blanket in front of your face, I know sometimes you you kind of are foreign, or this territory might be foreign, and as you're getting accustomed to holding your space, it's nice to have some extra security. Maybe one foot, one heel lifts up. And then switch. Opposite foot, heel lifts. So again, this is where the blanket comes in handy because obviously your hands are kind of stuck. So maybe both heels lift. This one is surprisingly tricky. I like to tr kind of uh, cheat by pressing my thighs into my chest as I lift. And then release. Walk the feet to the outer edges of the mat. Now before you lower, take your forearms on top of your calves, right by the nape of the knee. Then lower the hips down. Nod it from side to side. I told you, it's a feel-good flow. <laughs> the ball of hands of the fists and expand. Breathing into all of this space. Notice what comes up and you can change where the forearm are forearm is on the calf. Maybe you're working your way towards the wrist. Nice. And then releasing, extend the arms forward and lengthen the spine. Up now the pelvic bowl. Breathe into your lower back. Gently sit down. Take a seat. Draw your knees together. And hands come forward and in front of your hips. Tent the hands. Draw your knees high and in towards your chest. Just a little tiny bit of heat generation because we're going to hold some big shapes, magnanimous sacred geometry. So just a little bit of fire to purify those nadis with. Again, feel free to take this part, this portion, super easy if you'd like. Maybe straighten through the legs. Inhales, you slowly lower the legs down. Exhales to lift. Inhale, slowly lower. Exhales to lift. Once more, inhale, slowly lower. Exhales to lift. Feet to ground. A little space between the spine. Upright the spine, extend the arms forward. Inhale as you slowly lower the spine down, articulating the spine one group at a time. Extend the arms up and overhead. Exhale, reach the arms forward. Again, you can slide those feet forward as far as you need to sit up all the way. Hands reach over to the right now. Inhale as you slowly lower the spine down. Extend the arms up and overhead. Exhale, reach it forward. Rise all the way up. Hands reach over to the left. Inhale to slowly lower. Arms extend up and overhead. Exhale, reach the arms over to the left. And roll the spine back up again. Back into center. Well done. Hands underneath the thighs. Upright the spine. Lean your weight back. Float your feet up. Navasana, boat pose. Again, knees can stay bent. Maybe arms extend forward. Maybe straight through the legs. We're just going to do three, three, and three. Inhale, slowly lower. 
Exhales to lift. Inhale, slowly lower. Exhale, to lift. Once more, slowly lower. Exhale, to lift. Bend the knees. Now, hands come behind you. Lean onto your right butt cheek and roll around on your butt cheek a little bit. Now, you can actually keep your hands here. We're going to do another core exercise. But enjoy the butt massage for a little bit more. Roll it out, roll it out. Then when you're ready for some core, hands can stay here or reach the hands over to the left. Inhales to extend. Exhales, lift it back up again. Two more, inhales to extend. Exhales to lift. Once more, inhale to extend. And exhales to lift, well done. Hands back to the mat behind. Knees over to the left and massage out your left butt cheek. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> Send the breath in. Now, reach the hands over to the right, or hands can stay on the yoga mat. Inhale as you extend. Exhale, lift. Inhale to extend. Exhale to lift one more. Inhale to extend. Exhale, lift. Back through to center. Lower and hold. One Ardha Navasana. Here for five, four, three. Two, one, hug knees and start to take some rocks. Massage out the spine, right? This is all about self-massage, feeling good in our bodies, making the body a fit vehicle for the spirit. When you're ready, feet come wide, reach your arms through Malasana squat. So again, a little bit of the weird nuanced shapes today. Sweep the right arm forward and in front of the right shin. Left arm can extend up, internally rotate, Bend the elbow, reach back through fingertips or wrist. Maybe, maybe, big maybe. Scoop that left foot in. Press up, lift up, reach your eyes up, come to stand. A little leg news action. It feels surprisingly amazing. Slowly lower, leg noosers. Set back down again. And then switch sides. Release the bind. Left arm forward and in front of left shin. Right hand can push the right knee away. Maybe right arm extends up, twist, internally rotate, bend at the elbows, reach back for fingertips or wrists. Deep Ujjayi breaths. Stay here or right foot inches in. Press up, lift up, reach it up. Woo! Leg noose. That one is really kind of playful. It's tricky at first until you learn how to align. Then you ride it up like an elevator, slowly lower it back down again. It's all about those rooting rebind forces. Release. Now both arms sweep forward and in front of both shins. Kind of nuzzle in. Into when we take both arms, reach back for fingertips. It's okay if you can't pass a clasp. They will clasp eventually one day. You can use a strap or a dog leash or a belt to make that connection. So mid breath. All right, now again, if you want to, you can just step back into downward facing dog pose. I'm going to have a little bit of play time for some of my, my yogis, my regular practitioners that I don't get to see because of the lockdown. So <laughs> for, for some of my regulars or some of my more advanced yogis out there, let's play a little bit with our transition. So knees can come high up and in towards the armpits, lean way forward, lift one or both feet. Now try to bring your toes to your forearms. See if you can straighten through the arms and the legs. If you mess up, you just end up in a forward fold. No big deal. <laughs> but just to kind of give you guys an idea of where you can take this, maybe you take it all the way up. So knees high up and in, knee weight forward, press up, lift up, into crow, toes to your forearms, press up, lift up, straighten through arms and legs. It's magical because you can stack those bones and ride it up like an elevator, slowly lower, maybe toe tap those wrists on your way down. Back into Bach. Gaze is forward, shoot the head forward as you shoot the feet back, landing with bent elbows, four limb stack, Chaturanga Dandasana. Vinyasa. Inhale to Urdhva Mukha, roll shoulders back. Exhale. 
Adho Konasana. Downward facing dog pose. Amazing. Right leg extends up and back as you inhale, yogis. Exhale, knee to nose, round up the spine. See if you can hover the foot before stepping it through. Left foot swings down to a 45. Inhale, rise. Warrior one. Heel tilt the right foot to the right a little bit. Hands come behind the back, interlace. Broaden across the collarbones as you inhale. Exhale, finish your hips, leave it hard. As the right shoulder passes the right knee, then begin to round. Lengthen the whole spine up and out, pelvic fold, breathe into lower back. Ground you down to lift the full spine up, both arms sweep up, warrior one. Open it out to your warrior two, adjust the stance. Build to arch alignment, relax the shoulders. Flip the right palm, reverse your warrior, left hand thigh your cat. Lengthen through the right side body, breathe into the right side body. Inhale as you rise, right elbow, right thigh, left arm extends forward. Maybe left hand reaches back from the half five. There is a full bind, right hand instep, right foot, right arm can thread underneath the right leg, right behind the nape of the knee, reach back for fingertips or wrist. Maybe work towards straightening through the right leg first, balance triangle. And then if it's calling in, left foot step forward, press up, lift up, reach to rise, bird of paradise. Again, feel free to stay in your side angle pose. No worries. This is for my regular yogis. Slowly lower, pressing down the right foot, shift it in crown foot, left leg back, down, half moon pose on your way back. Step it way back, really spine your eyes away or two. Straighten your right leg as you rise, your knees. Whoo, heel to left foot and shorten the stance. Deepen in that right hip crease. Extend the right arm forward to reach. Right hand to ankle, shin, floor, left arm extends up, twist the spine open. Gazes at the left fingertips. Deep ujjayi breaths. Amazing, and left hand down to mat. Scoot the left foot forward and to the left. Inhale as you find it. Exhaling forward folding. Now walk the hands over to the right. Lengthen the spine up and out of pelvic fold. Breathe into lower back. And left hand plants out edge of the right foot. Right hand to the sacrum, roll the right shoulder back. Right arm can extend up and twist from the navel, and as you twist, amazing. Both hands back down to the mat. Now we're going to do all those shapes on one foot, and each foot individually. I'll give you a little break in between. We wait to the right foot. Left leg sweeps up, supported warrior three. Roll the left hip to stack. Left arm extends up. You can stay here or bend left knee. Reach back with the left hand for the left foot. Kick the foot into the hand. Slingshot your heart forward towards the front of the room. Gently release. Re extend the left leg back. Left hand to mat or to block, square off hips. Right arm extends up, twist from the navel in. As you twist, gazes at the right fingertips. Maybe bend left knee, reach back with right hand for left foot, kick foot into hand. Slingshot the heart forward, send the breath in. Gently release, standing splits, drop forward towards shin. We extend left heel, breathe into right hamstrings. Okay, so options. You could just kick the left foot through, pause in your pistol squat, or hand standards, hands plants, middle fingers in line, thumbs in line. Push the floor away. Connect the legs together at the top. Squeeze legs together at the top. Right heel, right seat. Butt back, left foot forward, figure seven, hollow back. Now work to slow, controlled descent. Toe tap on the way through. Meet us in your pistol squats. All right, this is it. This is where we 
Crank up the heat on that right hip. We're going to take a little break in between sides with some hip openers. So know that going in. Help yourself up if you need to, yogis. Root to rise. Root to asta. And putting your stasana. Left knee, center fingers and thumb. Catch left big toe. Right hand to right hip. Open left leg out. To the left. Maybe grow a tree branch. Send in breath. Back through to center. Right hand reaches across, catch outer to near outer to put yourself hand back in. Twist. Gotta get these main central nadis, primary energetic highways. Beautiful. Back through to center. Now, releasing the foot. Hands to hips, order of branches here for five, four, three, two, one. Sweep it back, warrior three. Gently bend, right knee, step it way back, high crescent. Inhale, both arms sweep. And exhale, hands to mat. Well done, yogis. Walk right foot over to the right. Left knee lowers. Forearms lower. Knees into the hip stretch. So just a little bit of something for everyone. Don't feel like you need to take it upside down. This is an accessible sequence. Right hand to right knee. Gaze over the right shoulder. Come on to the fleshy part of the left knee. Bend left knee. Reach back with the right hand to the left foot. Press heel towards your seat. Gently release. And walk the right foot back through midline. Straighten through the right leg. Revisiting our or half splits. Slide the right foot forward, walk left foot back. Deep breaths, breathe into that space. Keep scissoring your thighs together, activate mula bond. Maybe tuck the back toes, engage left thigh, loop, drive that left hip forward. Maybe find your core engagement, float the arms up. When you're complete here, we bend the right knee. Walk the right foot behind left wrist, release right knee behind right wrist, half pigeon pose. Gaze back at left leg in line with the hip. Inhale as you find length. And exhale to forward fold it. Whew. Nice deep breaths. Send it in, yogis. Rest your brow on your palms. Again, stay here. If this is where you're welcoming in reactivation, maybe try a couple variations. You can walk the hands over to the right. Lengthen the spine. Now the pelvic bowl. Breathe into your lower back. Back over to the left. Just like we did in child's pose at the very beginning of class. Back through the center. Now thread the left arm through the right arm. Set the left shoulder down. You can walk the right arm forward. Enjoy the shoulder stretch. The right hand can reach back behind for your right big toe and gently twist. Roll that right shoulder back. And then gently release. Walk the hands back in. Bending the left knee, reach back with the left hand for the left foot. Press heel towards seat. Deep breaths, breathe into that space. Maybe threading the foot into the elbow crease, reach back, right hand for left fingertips, square off hips. There is the overhead grip, if it's a part of your practice, feel free. Gently release when you're complete. Walk the hands in, tuck the back toes, Engage the left thigh, lift the left knee. Sweep the right leg up and back. Hip circles, ankle circles. Now bring both feet to the mat, just like we did at the beginning of practice again. Bring both heels over to the left. Now bend in the knees and straighten. Roll the spine forward into your plank. Right arm can extend forward, lengthen through the right side body. 
side plank. Maybe the right foot slides on top of the left. Maybe floater tree. You can step the right foot back behind, pressing down through both feet, lift the hips up, wild thing. Vinyasa, if it's pleasing. Maybe extend that right leg. Optional, those of you that took the handstands, they generated some heat in the upper half. You can walk the hands in a little bit. Give yourself a landing strip. Bend in the elbows. And even if you're just taking a little down dog push up and then pressing back up again. Or even from here, right, falling into your vinyasa. Maybe you can take it all the way up into your chin balance. Gently working down the scorpion tail. Vinyasa. Inhale, Urdhva. Exhale, roll over to Adho Mukha. And pause for a few breaths. Feel the difference between sides. Quite an extensive flow. We've got it all again on the other side. So clearing breath. Inhale deeply. Exhale, side out the mouth. Let it go completely. <sighs> Left leg extends up and back as you inhale, yogis. Exhale, knee to nose, round and upper spine. Gently set the left foot through. Can you hover the left foot before you set it down? Right foot swings down to 45. Seal the outer edge down with the inner arch up. Both arms sweep up, warrior one stance. Hands come behind back, interlace, opposite thumb on top. Broaden across the collarbones as you inhale. Exhale, hinge from hips, lead with heart. As left shoulder passes left knee, then begin to wrap. Lengthen the whole spine up out of the pelvic bowl. Breathe into your lower back. Grounding down to lift up, roll the spine up, both arms. Sweep up, warrior one, stance. And open it out. Into your warrior two, adjust. Relax the shoulders. Rick, extend up your fingertips. Left ankle and knee stacking. Flip the left palm, reverse your warrior, right hand player cap. Lengthen through the left side body, breathe into the left side body. Inhale as you rise, left double left back, right arm extends forward, and again, you can stay here the whole time. Maybe right hand reaches back to the half bind. Maybe left hand to instep with left foot. There is a full back. And birds. Work towards straightening through the left leg first. Find the bound triangle. Then right foot steps forward. Press up, lift up, root to rise. Bird of paradise. Send in breath. Send in your jai. Then slowly release it back down, birds. Take your time. Pressing down through left foot. Shift weight into crown. Float the right leg back. Bound half moon pose. On your way. Step it way back. Release the bind, rise warrior two. And we'll all straighten through that left leg. Heel to right foot in. Shorten stance. Deepen and left to crease, extend, reach. Left hand to ankle, shin floor. Right arm extends. Twist the spine open, gaze at the right fingertips. Deep ujjayi breath. Now right hand to mat, square off the hips, scoot right foot forward to the right. Inhale as you find length, exhaling to forward fold, enjoy your Parshvottanasana, pyramid pose. Walking the hands to the left, lengthen the spine up and out of the pelvic bowl. Breathe into your lower back. Right hand plants outer edge of the left foot, left hand to the sacrum, self adjust. Make sure your pelvic bowl is neutral. Two hips, one line. Now left arm can extend up and twist. From the navel, as you twist, gaze at the left fingertips. Deep ujjayi breaths. All right. Both hands back down to mat. Knee weight forward into your left foot. Right leg sweeps up, supporting warrior three. 
pull the right hip to stack. Right arm extends up half moon pose. Maybe bending right knee, reach back with right hand for right foot, kick foot into hand for your chest, boss awesome variation. Core stays engaged, transfer that energy through the lumbar and directly into the thoracic. Send in breath, illuminate through these passageways. Gently release. We extend the right leg back. Square off hips, right hand to mat or to block. Still going no props. Might introduce props next week. Left arm can extend up and twist. If you don't have props, we can always get creative, inventive, bend <laughs> right knee. Reach back with the left hand for the right foot. Kick the foot into the hand. Slingshot the heart forward. Send in breath. Find your edge. Gently release. Standing splits. We extend the right heel. Breathe into the left hamstrings. So again, you can draw your right thigh into your chest. Take the right foot through, arrive at your pistol squat or handstanders, lifting the left heel, hands plant, push the floor away, coming up into your handstand. Squeeze those legs together at the top. Now left heel towards your left seat, butt back, right foot forward, hollow back. Have fun, play with it a little bit. Find that balance like a Libra. Maybe toe tap. Pistol squat. All right, something for everyone, something for everyone. Interlace fingers around right sole of the foot. This is a tricky transition. Help yourself up if you need to. Press up, lift up, root to rise. Woo! Right peace sign fingers and thumb. Press right big toe. Left hand to left hip. Now open the right leg out to the right. Maybe go a tree branch to the left. Send in breath. You're clearing your space, yogis. Back through the center. Reach across. Left hand catches outer to knee or outer to foot. Reach your right hand back and twist. For navel as you twist, gaze over the right shoulder, right fingertips. Back through to center. Take your time. You're all aligned with your drifty. Seeing the self from all perspectives. Now releasing the foot, hands to hips to grow branches. This is Chaka style. I'm here for five, four, three, two, one. Sweep right leg back, warrior three. Gently bend left knee. Step the right foot way back. High crescent. Hands come to mat. Walk that left foot over to the left, right knee lowers, forearms lower, ease into the hip stretch. So we all like varying degrees of heat, right? Some like it really hot. Feel free to add in even extra arm balances and versions on any of these sequences. Left hand to left knee, gaze over left shoulder. Really, they're just bonded checks. So even if you're not inverting, Bring awareness to your bondas if you, if you still want to crank up the heat a little bit. Bend the right knee, reach back with the left hand to the right foot. But maybe don't feel confident enough to get upside down. And again, trust me, as your bondas streamline more energy, you'll build self-confidence. It's really, really tricky. Gently release. Walk left foot back in midline. Straighten through left leg, half splits, full splits. All of a sudden, it's kind of like your body says, we're ready, we're ready to go there. <laughs> and then you're like, okay, let's do it. And, and then you do it, and it, it really, it's, it's so exciting how the unearthing starts to evolve. Slide the left foot forward, walk the right foot back. Hanuman. Somewhere in between, it doesn't have to be a full. And again, if you're ready to work over splits, you want to elevate the foot, feel free, but make sure you're really tuning in to your pelvic floor muscles. Mula Bandha is engaged. You can do a quick Mula Bandha check, bend or tuck the back toes of the right foot, lift the right knee up, drive the right hip forward as you drive the left hip back. Maybe even extend the arms up. Nice work, rebending your left knee. Walk the left foot 
behind your right wrist. Release the left knee behind the left wrist, half pigeon pose. Right leg in line with the hip. Feel free to draw left heel in towards your groin. So left knee intensity at the stretch. Inhale, so you find length. Exhale, forward fold it. Elbows out to the sides. Relax the shoulder muscles. Relax the face muscles. And in your hips, especially the left side, your undivided attention. And if you explore these variations, do so again with me on this side. Walk the hands to the left. Lengthen the spine, and now the pelvic bowl. Breathe into your lower back. Back over to the right. Back through center. And then slide the right arm underneath your left. Set the right shoulder down. Walk left arm forward. Breathe into the right shoulder, maybe. Left hand reaches back behind for your left foot. I know it's tricky, it's a bit of a brain teaser, but your left foot is by your right hip. Now roll the left shoulder back as you twist. Amazing! Love this variation and then gently release. Walk the hands back in. Bend the right knee, reach back with the right hand for right foot, press heel towards the seat. Maybe mermaid foot to elbow crease, reach back with left hand to right fingertips. Maybe there is an overhead grip here. Gently release when you're complete. Hands to mat, tuck back toes, engage right back. Sweep left leg up and back, one leg extending down, dog, hip circles, ankle circles. Return left foot to the mat. Then just as we did at the beginning of the practice, both heels to the right. Bend the knees. Roll the spine forward like a wave into plank. Left arm extends up, side plank. Stay here or left foot on top of right foot. Stay here or float a tree. Left foot can step back behind for your wild thing. Press down through both feet, lift the hips up. Roll it back into downward facing with the left leg extended. Maybe a one leg vinyasa or for my regulars. I got some wild regulars, by the way, you two. <laughs> you should see how extended they are. You can take a chin balance vinyasa. So again, walk the hands back a little ways. Give yourself a landing strip. Bend the elbows like a down dive push up. Dive in. Vinyasa. Woo! Roll over toes. Hips lift up and back, downward facing dog pose. Knees to mat, hips to heels, just as we began the practice. Sometimes nice to revisit the starting posture, child's pose. Pause for a few breaths. Rolling the spine up through the seated. All right, cross the shins, roll over the legs. And of course, another option is to handstand through. So again, you could cross the shins, roll over the legs, or some of my expert alchemists out there, try taking it up, handstanders. The legs together at the top, maybe fully extend. Try a pike, legs together, butt back, feet forward. Find the balance. And then slowly lower through. Gently release. Quick seated sequence before we make our way to the floor. Draw your right knee in. Now lifting the right foot up, interlace fingers underneath the right sole of the foot. Draw your forehead towards your shin. 
Konotasana. Now maybe bending the knee, cradle the leg, and take a little bit of a moment to prepare. Now I'm catching the foot with your left hand, right arm can thread through the window, plant down through the right palm, work towards straightening through your left leg. Now maybe re-bending the right knee, hands plant mid-thigh, press up, lift up for your elephant's pose, cross the shins, asavakrasana, maybe left leg extends back into a quad kund. Back through, catch, asta, back into seated, optional, optional, right leg comes up and over, your left, left leg can stay straight. Or lean onto the left seat, slide the left heel back. Right hand behind the sacrum, left arm extends. Exhale, left elbow out or your right knee from navel as you twist. Bringing the spine out of toxins, deep ujjayi breaths. Gently release, counter twist to the left, forward fold if you'd like. Back through center, stack knees, heels towards outer hips. Right arm extends up, bend elbow, reach left hand up, back for fingertips. Inhale as you find length, exhale forward, fold it. Roll the spine back up through the stack. Release the arms, shake them out, hands behind, straight legs in front. Bounce knees, bunch with the feet. Draw your left knee in, interlace fingers beneath the left sole of the foot. Extend the left leg straight up, draw forehead towards shin, crash asana, hair and pose. Cradle the left leg, outer to the left foot into your right elbow crease. Nod it from side to side. Again, just take a little bit of some time, a little moment to prepare. Then catching the left sole of the foot with your right hand, left arm threads through the window, left hand plants, work towards straightening through your left leg, compass pose, sundial pose. Rebend the left knee, hands plant, Ganesha's pose, press up, lift up, maybe Asavakrasana. Thread that right leg through back to Ekapadak Kumudinyasana. Back through to Asta. Set back down. That's for my regulars. <laughs> left foot comes up and over. Lean onto your right seat, side the right heel, back towards your outer left hip. Feel free to keep that leg straight. Left hand behind, so your right arm extends. Exhale, right elbow, average of left knee. From navel as you twist, gaze over left shoulder. Gently release and counter twist to the right. Forward fold if you'd like. Back through the center and stack those knees, heels towards outer hips. Left arm extends up, bend at the elbow, reach back for fingertips or a wrist. Right hand reaches up the back, use a strap if you need it, inhale, find leg, exhale, forward, hold it. Rolling the spine back up through the seated, release the arms, shake them out, hands back behind, legs out in front, bounce the knees, windshield wiper the feet. Slide flush to the bum, out from underneath. Inhale as you sweep the hands up. Exhale, forward fold. And then rolling the spine back up. Legs come wide. Upa Vista, wide legged. Again, if you'd like to, you can stay here in your Upa Vista, wide legged forward fold or feel free to lift up into your middle. And enjoy. Find your edge of consciousness expansion, whatever that means to you. And then pressing it back into your information. Right arm, and seeing right leg, sweep left arm up overhead. 
Your side body stretch. Back through center, over to the left. Left arm inseam, left leg. Right arm sweeps up and overhead. Side body stretch. Back through the center. You walk the hands back in, hands underneath the knees to the knees. Slide the feet in. Baddha Konasana. Hands underneath the feet, press elbows into inner thighs, forward fold it. Roll the spine back up through the seated, and draw the knees in. And slow roll it down onto your backs. Walk the feet in right behind your seat, press up, lift up, hands come behind the back, interlace. Draw the shoulder blades together, press chest towards chin. Breathe into the back of the neck. Stay here, or those of you that want it, hands long sides, ears, fingers point towards shoulders. Press it up, you can pause on the crown of the head, walk the hands in, lift it up the rest of the way up, full Urdhva Dhanurasana. Again, if it's a part of your practice, walk the feet together, one leg extends up. And switch. Both feet to the mat. Press it up, lift it up. Come to stand. Again, I'm going to come back with another episode on drop back specifically. Maybe back bending after this. Mm, all right. Hey, Molly. What's up? Want to be featured? <laughs> this, is, this is my, uh, my at people. <laughs> my resident yogi. Drop it back, hips forward. Tuck the chin, back and head to the mat. And slowly release, wrench wipe your knees side to side to release in your lower back. Hug the right knee in, extend the left leg out. Scoot hips to the right, down the right knee or to the left for your supine twist. Roll the right shoulder down to the ground, breathe into your lower back, side body and rib cage. And switch back through center, right leg extends, hug left knee in, screw hips to the left, left knee to the right, supine twist. Back through the center, legs extend straight up, wrap the elbows in, engage the core, press up, lift up. Now lower down, halasana back. Interlace the fingers, press palms together. Maybe bend knees towards forehead, <laughs> around the ears. Oh no. Molly, you're sneezing. <laughs> it's okay, dogs can't get it. <laughs> now slowly release the interlace. Roll the spine down. Amazing flow, hands underneath the seat, press down, lift up, let the head hang back. Little Matsyasana to conclude this practice. Then gently release, like flesh the bum out from underneath. Scoop props aside, if you got them, close the eyes. Everyone take a nice deep inhalation into the nose. And exhale, let it go. <sighs> Letting go of all of the things that are outside our realm of control. Resting in the knowing that we've done the very best that we can to share life force energy with our own field of consciousness, our own respected microcosmic map of the universe. Allowing this energy to fill in integrating this new arrangement of the gunas, the elements, and resting in complete stillness. The highest light within me truly sees and honors the highest light within you. I thank you for your practice. Truly, <laughs> it does beneficently affect all beings. We are all inextricably linked. Namaste.